I think it's safe to say that Microsoft Flight Simulator is a great example of AI and machine learning technology done well in a video game. Its landmark feature, after all, is this photorealistic scenery, a full-scale, high-quality recreation of our world, and that's largely made possible thanks to these technologies. Not to mention some third-party developments like Beyond ATC using AI to produce convincingly realistic air traffic control communications within the game. And with all the insane hype and useless gimmick associated with AI lately, it's kind of exciting to see these useful and novel applications in the flight simulator space. And it all kind of got me thinking what else we could maybe do with AI and flight simming today. Just simple stuff for now, things that anyone can do with something like ChatGPT. So I started experimenting, just trying out some ideas, and I found some interesting use cases that I thought I might share here. Now, I should note that these are all third-party GPTs on the ChatGPT platform. Uh, which usually requires you to have a premium subscription to use, but I will also show you how to replicate some of the functionality with the free version of ChatGPT as well. So the first idea was, uh, well, first I should say that I'm a big fan of the worldtour.flights website just for discovering interesting flight plans. So that kind of guided my first idea, uh, which was to try to use GPT to generate specific flight plans and trip ideas. So flight sim tours will create virtual trips and flight plans for Microsoft Flight Simulator. It will generate notable points of interest on route and give interesting details about them. It will recommend altitudes, aircraft types, uh, optimal time of day and weather conditions. And finally, it generates an XML file for the trip that you can load into Microsoft Flight Simulator. So you can specify things like a historical flight over Europe, and you get a nice overview of the flight plan, uh, notable points of interest, some details about them, coordinates for each waypoint, a few aircraft suggestions, or you can ask it to help you decide, and it'll spit out some questions for you to answer to help guide the experience. You can find this in that GPT Marketplace thingy that I mentioned. Um, it's under the name Flight Sim Tours. But if you don't have access to that, you can find the prompt in the description below that can be entered just into the free version of ChatGPT to generate something fairly similar. The next one is something I found on the ChatGPT marketplace, and it's a mission generator for Microsoft Flight Simulator. Um, it describes itself as a tool uh, designed to offer scripted and tailored missions for Microsoft Flight Simulator 2020. So you can specify things like the type of aircraft you want to use, the duration of the mission, and you can uh, say like if you prefer some historical scenario or something that's completely fictional can request some sort of theme like a rescue mission or humanitarian aid operation. And because it's all based on chat GPT, really all of these things are, you can pretty much just let your imagination run wild, come up with some crazy post-apocalyptic scenario with a time deadline or something. Um, it comes up with some really interesting scenarios on its own. It can give you know, a sense of purpose to your trips uh, and kind of allow you to role play a bit if you wish. If something like Neofly or Air Hauler seems like a bit too much sometimes, but you still want some narrative to play along with, it can uh, make for a really great time. Now, my last idea here today tries to answer a question I often have while sightseeing in Microsoft Flight Simulator, which is to tell me about some geographic landmark or scenery that I'm currently flying over. So it takes a set of coordinates and it provides you with a description of any notable scenery near you. Um, and you could ask it about something that you see in particular. Now, this idea is still in progress. Obviously, it's not ideal to have to manually enter coordinates and I rely on little nav maps uh, web server function to publish my live coordinates on a web page which ChatGPT should be able to access, you know, with proper port forwarding and stuff. However, for security reasons, ChatGPT uh, seems to limit the types of websites that it will browse and pull information from, uh, which I can kind of understand because it would probably be pretty easy to begin asking it like for potential ways to exploit the web server. Um, so I'm looking at maybe exploring what else can be done with things like SimConnect, um, any third party websites. Maybe they can publish the live coordinates on the web page somewhere via dedicated plugin, somewhere that ChatGPT will actually go visit. Um, apparently, Little Nav Maps provides an API, so maybe it would be easier for me to create something elsewhere on another website that just pulls that info via API and displays it. Anyways, I'm still kind of trying to work out that idea. Um, so if you have any ideas, maybe let me know. Um, I think like if we could just pull all the information that Little Nav Maps spits out, we could probably do some really interesting things with that live telemetry data in the sim combined with ChatGPT. So anyways, this one is in the, uh, the GPT Marketplace 2 under Flight Sim Explorer. So this, along with the other two, I'll uh, go ahead and post down in the comments below um, a prompt that you could use in any version of ChatGPT to get some more results. So yeah, anyways, give these a try if you'd like. And if you come up with an interesting idea uh, like this on your own, let me know in the comments below. I'll probably continue and try and tweak these and work on them a bit more. And uh, I don't know, maybe I'll come up with a second edition of this video if there's some interest in this kind of thing.